Hi everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here. I'm sharing a fun and shimmery card today using some products from the Simon Says Stamp Splendor release. This card is lucky themed for March. So happy March and we will get started right in here with this card. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stencil this Pony Love stencil onto a background because I'm gonna be using a paste. I wanna make sure there's plenty of time for it to dry while I'm coloring that lucky shoe horse image. On a stamp and stencil mat, I've centered my card panel, which is A2 sized, and the grid lines perfectly line up your paper as well as the stencil. And it's my favorite tool for ink blending stenciled backgrounds. I'm using two colors in green. I'm doing a celery color, which is this first light color, and I'm doing a even blend all the way down the panel. And then I'll go in with the Perfection ink, which is the darker color, and blend from the bottom up so I have a nice gradient of colors from the light to the dark. I consider myself to be a very slow ink blender. It takes me a while to get all the colors on there in the exact tone or saturation that I like. I've seen people ink blend so fast and I'm always like, how do you do that? But I think it's because I don't pick up a whole lot of ink when I ink blend, just because I can control the color better. And so as you can see, I'm tapping ink a lot onto my brush, tapping a bit of it off onto the lid, and then applying the color onto my paper. So I get a really, really controlled amount of ink and color going onto the cardstock. Now I'm gonna remove that panel from the stamp and stencil mat because I don't want the paste to get on my mat. So I'm gonna use it and apply this paste directly onto my glass board. That way I can easily clean it off. This is some Cosmic Shimmer Luna paste. And what I love about this paste is it's very opaque and the glitters in it are super fine. So you get a really almost metallic look and it's really shimmery depending on the light or the angle at which you hold your project. So I am spreading a thin layer here over my stencil, going back and forth here with my media spatula. I've got my Luna paste on my Positively Everything tool so my jar doesn't move around while I'm grabbing more paste to add onto my project. When I'm happy with the spread of that paste over my card panel, I'm gonna lift away the stencil and I'm gonna clean it all up. And as you can see here, you have a really shimmery, luminescent look to that background, but you still see that color coming through. So I cleaned my surface as quickly as I could to make sure that paste wipes off easily. I've set my panel aside to dry and we're gonna stamp this image from the Lucky Horseshoe set. I really love the size of this image because it really becomes the focal point on your card. So I'm gonna stamp this with a black hybrid ink so that I can color with Copic markers. And it's really gonna be a quick color cause there's really not a whole lot to this. The horseshoe, I'm gonna be coloring a gold-ish color. So I'm using YR23, Y15, and Y11. And I also then bring in Y00 because once I got to the center of the horseshoe, I decided that I needed a tad more contrast and a bit more color. So I am using a lighter color so I can create that shadowed look, look more intensified. Next, I'll color these hearts here in some reds. I'm using R20, R22, and R24, so they're a little bit on the lighter side for me. And then on these flowers, I wanted it to be a bit more colorful, so I'm adding in some blues with these tiny little blooms, which are really, really simple and easy to color. For the medium-sized blooms, I'm using a purple, and then for the larger flowers, I'm using a pink. If you're interested in these color combinations, since I am going a little bit fast, you can go to the coordinating blog post where everything will be listed there in the blog for your convenience. Now here is the background and it's air dried and it dried pretty fast while I was coloring that horseshoe. It is still wet, but just a tad. If you're not comfortable, just wait a little bit longer or you can heat it with a heat tool to speed up the drying process. I added some 3D foam squares on the back of the horseshoe and then I attached it to my panel. For the sentiment, I'm using the Fancy Lucky die and I'm gonna die cut it with matte gold cardstock and some white cardstock to layer for some dimension. And that pad that you see there, if you've never seen it before, it is a foam craft pad from Simon Says Stamp. It's gonna help me poke those die cuts out so that I don't hit my glass board and accidentally scratch it or something. And it's great because it's got that cushion in it. 
Here I'm just adhering my lucky words together and again I used two layers of white cardstock and one layer of matte gold cardstock for the top. Then I'm going to adhere it to a vellum shadow layer and I love vellum because I like that you can still see a bit of color in the background if you have a busy background going on and you don't want to take away too much from it but you still want to give your words a shadow. So I'm going to do that and on the back side I do attach some thin strips of 3D foam adhesive so that it kind of matches the height of that horseshoe. Then using a sentiment from the reverse lucky set, I am adding a strip of sub sentiment to the bottom of the word lucky. And I use a foam strip that's new from Simon Says Stamp as well to adhere that sentiment strip. Now I attach that whole panel to a top folding card base. And to finish this card off, I'm gonna add a few clear jewels and these are from the positively dazzling gems from simon says stamp this is a new collection and there are several colors and sets that you can get this one is clear so i just really wanted something in the background to kind of dazzle up this card with all that shimmer and gold shine and that finishes my card for today i really hope you enjoyed this if you're interested in any of the products that I use, be sure to check out the links below where everything will be linked for your convenience. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.